Okay. Hello, everyone. It is David Schmidt. And uh, thank you so much for taking a few minutes with me today to learn about X39 and X49 and stem cells. And before we get started, I would like to uh, just say a big thank you to Connie Lucas. You know, Connie Lucas is an extraordinary leader, and uh, she works so hard to support all of you and build life waves. So Connie, thank you so much for inviting me here today. And uh, I hope that you're all giving Connie a big round of applause. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. This will just be a brief presentation today on X39 and um, what it can offer, how it was developed, a little bit of the history and an overview on the technology. So for this, uh, let's go ahead and open up this presentation. Okay. So first, it's good to have an understanding as to why we need X39. And in order to do that, we should understand a little bit about stem cells and uh, what they are. Um, and what happens with stem cells as we age. So first thing is that stem cells are the universal cells in the body. So whether or not we're talking about liver cells, kidney cells, heart cells, at one point or another, they all started out as stem cells. And the problem is that the stem cells in the body age with the rest of the body. And by the time you get into your 70s, there are no more or very few stem cells. Uh, by the time we get over 60, there is a 60 to 80% drop in the activity of the stem cells and their ability to uh, repair damaged tissue and make new cells. So this is a very significant problem. Now there's some solutions available, uh, but they have their own issues. So we know over the next 10 or 20 years, stem cell medicine uh, is going to become extremely important. So in other words, if someone is injured, they'll go into a hospital and they'll get an injection of stem cells. But today, stem cell injections are uh, very expensive. They're not approved everywhere, and they do come with risks, uh, meaning sometimes stem cell injections can damage healthy tissue. So these are some of the issues. So a uh, question here is, uh, since we already have stem cells in our body, would there be any way that we could get those stem cells to act like younger, healthier cells? And uh, we spent over 10 years doing this, and we came out with over 70 patents in the field of regenerative medicine and regenerative science. Uh, we did some of our initial work at the National University of Ireland in Galway at the uh, Regenerative Medicine Institute, or REMEDY for short. And uh, I had made a presentation to Dr. Tim O'Brien, who runs REMEDY. And uh, as a result of getting that presentation accepted, we received funding from Scientific Foundation Ireland to do the work. And basically, uh, what I was presenting initially was this, a uh, new and patented form of magnetic field therapy to stimulate the stem cells already in the body. And for this, we used a standard rabbit model. Uh, what that means is that rabbits are used in stem cell research, and in this case, uh, what we wanted to do was uh, take a rabbit with a diabetic ulceration and see if we could heal it by activating the stem cells. And uh, we were really excited about two different things. The first thing is that in our very first try, we saw that by electromagnetically stimulating the body, we could activate the stem cells and speed up the rate of wound healing. So that was exciting. We did that to statistical significance. The other thing that we found is that the rate of healing 
was the same as injecting stem cells. So this was the first time that we showed that you did not have to inject stem cells into the body. You could activate the stem cells that were already there and speed up wound healing. So we did some work in our own labs and uh, we work with a model called planaria. Uh, planaria are flatworms. And what's remarkable about the flatworms is that you can uh, cut their heads off and they will regrow a new head in about 17 days. And stem cell researchers are trying to figure out a way to get that down to 15 days. We actually did that with electromagnetic stimulation in only eight days, half the time. And we even had some very advanced versions of this technology where we got it down to one day. Now, a problem with this approach is that it's very expensive and it's not something that um, everyone can use in their everyday life. So could we develop a technology that would duplicate these results uh, but be safe and available for everyone? And uh, the answer is yes. So the approach that we took was with light therapy. Now, light therapy, of course, is a form of electromagnetic therapy. It's very, very high frequency. And light therapy, of course, has been around for a very, very long time. And uh, what's innovative about this approach is that we're using a patch, but there's nothing going into the body. So this is not like a uh, drug patch or a smoker's patch where we're putting chemicals through the skin. Instead, what we do with this is the uh, ingredients that are in the patch stimulate the skin with very low levels of light. You can think of this as uh, when you go out in the sun, sunlight causes your body to make vitamin D, right? Or sunlight gives you a tan. Those are examples of how light causes chemical changes in the body. Uh, it's a process called photobiomodulation. And uh, basically you put a patch on the skin, it stimulates the skin with light, and this causes an increase in a peptide that activates stem cells. So this is a form of low level light therapy. And we're using it to elevate a peptide called GHKCU. It's known as copper peptide. And uh, what do we know about this peptide? And how do we know it's, it's great for our health? Well, this peptide was first discovered about 50 years ago by Dr. Lauren Picard. And uh, what's really special about copper peptide is that it will regulate about one third of the human genome. So it resets about one third of your genes to a younger, healthier state. And part of this action is in causing the stem cells to activate. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So an important question is, how do we know that X39 elevates copper peptide? Well, we've done about 12 studies and we've done multiple blood and urine studies. And we show in these studies that X39, uh, when you do blood analysis, does elevate copper peptide. This was our very first study with 10 people. Then we did a follow-up study with 60 people. And uh, this shows that just within the first 24 hours, you get an increase in copper peptide. And this is important because levels of copper peptide drop as we age. And by the time we get over 60, our levels of copper peptide are down about 60 to 80%. And so correspondingly, you have a decrease in stem cell activity. So in other words, if we can increase your body's levels of copper peptide, we can recapture some of our youth. And that includes better stem cell activity. Now, what type of benefits do people see with X39? 
Well, here's a clinical study that we did with 50 people. And uh, we took people over the age of 60 because they had very little stem cell activity. And what we found uh, within the first 24 hours to seven days is that there were statistically significant improvements in health. So let's take a look at that, this because it's exciting. We saw that uh, over the period of the first week, we got an increase in the synthesis of amino acids. So what does that mean? Well, as an example, one of the amino acids that increased was leucine. Leucine is important is because it's involved in muscle protein synthesis. So if you're someone that likes to exercise or you just want to recover faster, uh, you need to metabolize leucine. So we saw that when uh, people used X39, their metabolism of leucine improved about 30 to 40 percent. So that's improved speed of recovery after exercise. Now, something that, uh, you know, just about everyone is concerned about is what is their memory going to be like as they age? And the good news here, uh, which you're, you're going to see some very exciting pictures in a moment, um, is that just within the first week of using X39, people's memory improved. Just imagine that, just seven days. You're seven days away from a better memory. We don't make any claims about this, but we did see a reduction in blood pressure when people had high blood pressure when they're using X39. We saw that there was improvement in the muscle uh, four chambers of the heart, uh, the ratio of muscle contractions. That's called heart rate variability. We saw that sleep improved within the first 24 hours. And we saw that uh, vitality and even depth of breathing improves when using X39. Now we were talking about memory. And so if you're someone whose uh, brain is important to them uh, because of work and other things, then you're gonna be really excited about this. Uh, we did an initial study with 12 people. And later on, we followed it up with a larger study of 50 people. And we wanted to do a brain mapping using EEG. Now, you'll notice that in these scans, uh, there's a woman 77 years old, and session one is the baseline. So let's see what she's like before using X39. Session two is after three weeks, and session three is after six weeks. So we see that in as little as three weeks of using X39, even for people over the age of 70, there is still a dramatic improvement in brain cognition. So memory, focus, speed of processing. Some people, it takes a little bit longer. Uh, we still see an improvement in this 67-year-old man after three weeks, but the big change comes after six weeks. So this would be to say if that during the first week or two, you don't notice anything you could be one of those people that just needs a little bit more time to respond. So stay with it. Now, what happens out in real life? Well, when uh, you use X39, one of the, the uh, things that stem cells do really well is make collagen. Collagen is uh, the most abundant protein in the body. So it's going to support uh, wound healing the natural process of wound healing. And uh, here you can see, uh, we came out with X39 in July of 2018. We were in pre-launch back then. And this is a person that had open heart surgery. And you can see that a year after the surgery, they still had a scar as you would expect. Uh, but even after just a month of using X39, there's a dramatic reduction in the appearance of that scar. This is someone that uh, had a surgery, they applied X39, and in only two weeks, a dramatic reduction in the appearance of the scar. Now, where do you apply the patch? Well, this is what is uh, so fantastic about X39. 
In our studies, we simply have people apply it either on the back of the neck or below the belly button. Some people like to apply the product right at the side of the wound. And if you want to do that, you can, but it doesn't seem to matter. Uh, here was a young man that was in a snowboarding accident. And you can see after five days, he had a dramatic improvement. Uh, this was a fellow that was in a car accident and uh, you know he was lucky to regain function of his hand. And you can see after two months, barely the sign of a scar. Okay, and we have many, many examples of uh, supportive wound healing. But what happens to people that uh, are using X39 and they're already in great health? Well, what's exciting about this is that we see uh, a phenomena called youth renewal, meaning the stem cells are helping the body to make collagen, and this uh, helps to support a tightening and firming of the skin. So this is a young lady uh, named Mandy down in Australia, and that picture on the right there is not her daughter, but it's her after two years of using X39. Now, this would be a very typical example of someone that uses X39 for about three months, where you get an improvement in complexion, uh, tightening of the skin, uh, you see an improvement in the eyes because of detoxification, and uh, just an overall healthy glow. Now, this would be what happens uh, in some people after about six months or so, of using X39, we sometimes get these very, very dramatic transformations. But again, this is what you might see as very uh, typical results with X39 over about three months. And then I save this one for last because again, we often get very dramatic uh, testimonials on using X39 and um, this is a woman in Denmark uh, who is dealing with some health challenges. Her daughter gave her X39 to support her health. And uh, of course, everyone was amazed to see what happened to her only two months later after using the product. Now, of course, we have another uh, stem cell product. It's called X49. And X49 is for improving strength and stamina. Um, it elevates the peptide AHKCU. So this is a daughter peptide to GHKCU. So you would want to start with X39. And then if you're specifically looking for improvements in strength, stamina, and reduction of body fat, then you would add X49. So the two of them uh, complement one another. You could apply X39 behind the neck and X49 below the belly button. And you do that during the day. Uh, and then if you'd like to use patches in the evening, you have your choice of Alavita, Silent Nights, or Eon. Uh, each of those would be great products to use in the evening. So just wanted to give you a brief presentation today on X39 and uh, what's current state of the art technology and stem cells. I hope that you enjoyed it and uh, looking forward to seeing you soon. And uh, once again, uh, many thanks to Connie Lucas for inviting me here today and uh, so happy and proud to have her as part of our LifeWave community. She's absolutely amazing. And as you know, she made it uh, to a senior presidential director in our company, uh, very highest level. So Connie, thank you for all the hard work that you do to support LifeWave. Okay, thanks everybody.